Welcome to the 606. Good afternoon, everybody. I am coming to you this afternoon from the city of Chicago, Illinois, right here on Ridgeway Avenue. Uh, this is where I'm going to begin the 606. So they have a map right here. Looks like uh, it's 2.7 miles long. Uh, it's open from 6 in the morning till 11 p.m. Uh, Ridgeway Avenue, so we're on the western side of it. We're gonna make our way all the way past all of these exits to where it ends uh, at Walsh Park. Looks like that's uh, Marshfield Avenue. So the trail is only 2.7 miles. So uh, it's typically not something I would come out, uh, you know, more than an hour to drive to, to ride. But as I understand it, uh, the 606 is definitely something special. Uh, this is the ramp to go up to it. The trail is on an abandoned L line. So the entire ride is elevated. So I've never ridden anything like that where the trail's elevated. So I'm super excited to check this out. And it's uh, the reason we're out here, even though uh, the trail's not very long. So let's check out the 606. Okay, so that was a quick 2.7 miles. As you saw, we got off on the eastern side, came around this way. This is the 606 right here. We just made a straight shot all the way. Uh-oh, dog's fighting. As you could see, I, we just made a straight shot all the way east to the end of the trail. So on the way back, I'm gonna stop at a variety of places to check them out in a little more detail. Uh, there are some good views that I saw, so I wanna stop and take some pictures of those. Okay, so we pulled over here at uh, Winchester Avenue. So I want to give you guys a look here. It's pretty cool to be riding on an elevated platform here. Okay, so one of the things, of course, you notice, uh, it's only 2.7 miles, but there are no restrooms. Uh, there, I didn't see a restroom on the eastern side or the western side. Uh, so we ended up uh, stopping over here by the Bark Park. Uh, the, the Bark Park's right over there. And uh, my wife wanted to just see if there were uh, a restroom available. And as you can see, there is one available, so that's good. What do we got here? I'm not even sure what street this is at this point. Damon and Churchill. What's the name of this? Churchill Field Park. Okay, so as you can see right here at Damon, they have this area uh, where it pops out. It's actually a quite big area. And then you can stop, take a little break if you need it, or just catch a glimpse of the street below.
Okay, so we stopped here at uh, Tallman Avenue. I just wanted to point out their mile marker system here. Their mile markers are inlaid into the ground here, and it's dependent on which direction you're looking. Uh, we're 1.3 miles in on this side, starting from the east side, heading west this way. But if you're on this side of the trail, uh, heading east, this is mile marker 1.4. Okay, so Yarningdale it is. Uh, you could see here, they got a ton of yarn just hanging up here. Some of it's very cool looking, but there's a lot of it here. Okay, so that does it for the 606, uh, the Bloomingdale Trail. So again, we started here on Ridgeway Avenue. We made our way all the way east to where it ends at Walsh Park. There's that dog park over there as well. Runs right next to the Kennedy Expressway, I-90. So my impressions of the trail are extremely good. I mean, if I lived out here, I would be on this trail regularly. It's really unique in that it's an elevated train system uh, that's uh, been converted into a trail. So that's a really cool way of doing it instead of just dismantling it all. So let me know what you think of the trail in the comments below. If you've ridden this trail and you have a favorite spot, uh, definitely let me know where that favorite spot is. We will be riding this trail again in the future. Also, if you're familiar with this trail and this area, I do have two things I need help with. Is there a bar or restaurant that would normally have outdoor seating in the summer easily accessible from this trail? And lastly, what's the best way to get to this trail from the Chicago Lakefront Trail? If you guys have any tips or suggestions on this trail, please leave them in the comments below. So this wasn't exactly a trail recommendation, but I did first learn of the 606 from a viewer who posted a comment seven months ago. So thank you. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to share, like, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. And that's all I got today from the 606. I'll catch you on the next ride. Do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.